something that started with like you learning four chords in your bedroom when you were six years old turned into this. You make me smile with my eyes closed, laying in the living room. I wanna take you everywhere, anywhere you wanna go. I'll take you there, just let me know. Oh, but we both know that isn't true. My eyes closed. The band originally started in Ottawa in early 2014 because we all went to the same school for uh, music industry arts. I was really hoping for a spot playing guitar in the band. I originally got asked, it was like, do you want to sing or play bass? And I was like, well, I don't have a bass, so I guess I'm singing. We ended up playing any shows we could around Ottawa, and we all stayed in the city after school as well, so we could continue the band. I was always a fan of the band, and we've been friends forever, so it just made sense. I used to do uh, YouTube drum videos, and then Doug hit me up. He was like, hey, we're having this show. You could come hang out, talk to us, whatever. He didn't show up. <laughs> I didn't show up. <laughs> and then they were like, we need a drummer for this weekend run. Can you do it? I said, yes. I invited all of them to my house for the first time meeting them. I was booking us anywhere I could find. We played some empty bars to literally zero people, and it was just anywhere I could find us a show. I was like, okay, that's where we're playing tonight. We were with some of our friends and we kind of said to them, we're sorry for what's going to happen in Toronto because it's a pretty big venue and we don't really have like that much of a following there. And we showed up and 150 people showed up. We'd released North Hanson and all of a sudden, I guess we kind of piqued some interest and were able to play to a crowd. There was also like a defining moment where we were playing in London one night, seeing a fan in the crowd screaming all the words while crying. Like there's a reason why we did all this. It's like paying off in some sort of way. Everything was looking pretty successful for us and we had like a record that wasn't released yet and we had some tours planned that were going to do very good things for us. And uh, yeah, COVID definitely fucked it. We all didn't really know what to expect. We didn't know when touring was gonna come back, how long this whole COVID thing is gonna last. Where it started to get very real, where it's like you realize like this isn't just a couple months, like this is gonna be a long time. It was very tough to not get into a deep depression where I was wondering what am I gonna be doing? Is this band thing even gonna ever happen again, ever? I didn't pick up my bass for like a couple months. COVID and all of this happening gave me a newfound appreciation for everything I did have in my life. Spending every day with your best friends, I took that for granted. When you're on tour, as much as people might really appreciate what you do and might really love the music you make, you don't get a lot of time to talk to them. And through streaming, getting to really know the people that listen to our music and are excited about it almost renews my perspective on why we do music. The reason I have always drummed and always want to is to like have influence on people the same way my idols had on me. When we're on tour and I get to do what I love and play for 30 minutes, that's something that I've wanted to do since I was a kid. I already feel like I'm successful. In between tours, I fucking work at Starbucks. That is what I do. And I wake up and I feel like, oh, this is the monotony of everyday life. But you truly are successful when you kind of wake up and you go, I get to live my life today. I don't think there could be a, any better success in the world than that. I think we're just going to come back stronger. We're still in it all together 100%. We've kept working on new music throughout this whole process. We're waiting to get back to that point where we can take it on the road and see all the people that we love and share all these moments with the fans. That's really what I'm excited to get back to. Wherever you are now.